The Australian Labor Party wants the government to own your home. The Australian Labor announced it would support 10,000 homes in a 40% shared equity scheme, giving the government a stake in property. Could this happen in the United States? Plus, the U.S. housing market is starting to cool. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to cover data from Reuters and breaking news from The Guardian. There is so much information to unpack here. Thank you so much for tuning in. One caveat, I'm a Florida Georgia real estate broker, not a financial advisor. All right, let's begin. Scott Morrison says labor wants the government to own your home despite praising similar schemes. Prime Minister previously suggested shared equity schemes could reduce mortgage stress or upfront cost of buying a house. Scott Morrison has criticized the labor's new housing policy, saying the opposition wants the government to own your home, despite praising similar schemes in the past. On Sunday, Labor announced it would support 10,000 home buyers with a funding injection of up to 40% of the property value in a shared equity scheme that gives the government a stake in the property. Despite expressing public support for similar schemes being run by the state government and the private sector, Morrison said on Monday that the policy would see the government effectively becoming an owner of your home. There are questions about this, Morrison said. So what happens if you decide to renovate your home? I mean, what the labor has been very clear about is that they have a share in your home. And so as your home value increases, they are making money off you. As your home price goes up, your home value goes up. They are taking a cut. And so you have to pay the government back on their equity with the capital appreciation. I mean, they're basically riding on your decision to buy your own home. So the Australian Labor Party wants to essentially be a stakeholder in your property in a share equity scheme. When you sell your home, you owe the government their share as well as the capital appreciation. Not to mention this is extremely inflationary and will push home prices up even further, leaving people to completely rely on government for housing. Moreover, the proposal assumes housing prices only go up. But what if home prices come down? The government could essentially take your property. In my opinion, this is a great example of government overreach. Could such a policy occur in the United States? Well, you'll have to decide. Okay, so we have some new data from Reuters. U.S. housing market cooling as building permits tumble starts fall. Building permits declined 3.2% in April. Single-family permits drop 4.6%. Multifamily falls 1%. Housing starts slip 0.2% and single-family dives 7.3%. Permits for future U.S. home building tumbled to a five-month low in April, suggesting the housing market was slowing as rising mortgage rates contribute to reduced affordability for entry-level and first-time buyers. Home building was already being constrained by soaring prices as well as a shortage of materials. The housing market is a sector of the economy most sensitive to interest rates, with building permits a leading indicator for the sector. Building permits dropped 3.2% to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 1.819 million units in April, the lowest level since last November. They rose 3.1% on a year-on-year -year basis. Economists polled Reuters had forecast building permits would decrease to a rate of 1.812 million units. So, future home building permits slipped 3.2% to a five-month low in April, signaling the housing market was slowing as rising mortgage rates dampened affordability for first-time home buyers. Home builders are also dealing with rising costs and a shortage of materials, putting downward pressure on supply. Okay, so we have some new data from Redfin. New listings climbed sharply and the share of listings with price drafts reached a 2.5-year high as early-stage home buyer demand declined. Home buyers may finally start to notice signs that the market is shifting towards their favor. More sellers came to the market during the four weeks ending May 15th. New listings climbed nearly twice as fast as they did at this time last year, and the shares of listings with price drops rose to its highest level in two and a half years. Rising mortgage rates have caused the housing market to shift, and now home sellers are in a hurry to find a buyer before demand weakens further. Not only are more homes hitting the market each week, but sellers are dropping their price at rates not seen before the pandemic. This sudden pressure on sellers is good news for those home buyers who can still afford to buy at today's higher mortgage rates. These trends point to an even cooler market this summer. So, home buyers may start to notice signs the market is shifting in their favor. More sellers have come to market during the four weeks ending on May 15th. Almost twice as many homes have come to market as they did this time last year. Price drops rose to the highest level in the last two and a half years, and mortgage applications fell to the lowest level since May 2020. Okay, so the Australian Labor Party announced it would support 10,000 homes in a 40% shared equity scheme, giving the government a stake in property. In my opinion, this is a great example of government overreach. There is an old saying in government, if you think the problems we create are bad, just wait until you see our solutions. But what do you think? Do you support such a plan? Let us know in the comments. 
Okay, so today's takeaway. The Australian Labor Party announced it would support 10,000 homes in a 40% shared equity scheme, which could lead to more inflationary pressures. New listings climbed 15% from a month earlier compared to 7.8% increase over the same period in 2021. The market is shifting in favor of home buyers as sellers are listing their homes at record pace. Future home building permits are down 3.2% to a five-month low in April, signaling the housing market was slowing as mortgage rates rose. This, of course, is a lagging indicator as rates were significantly lower. And finally, price drops are at the highest level in the last two and a half years. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that like button. I'm a Florida Georgia real estate broker, not a financial advisor. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.